Hi, my name is Ryan and I was a customer support engineer intern at OSSR for the past three months. In this video, I will show how I managed to model electricity demand and prices for the state of New South Wales in Australia by using the Pi system in association with Microsoft Azure Machine Learning. On the screen, we see the graph for the energy demand in New South Wales for January 2017. We have the actual demand in orange and my predicted demand in blue. As you can see, the model is fairly accurate, capturing the daily and weekly cycles in electricity demand well. The model has a coefficient of determination, or r square value, of 0 0.96. Let's now look at how I built the model. As a first step, I extracted information relating to the Australian energy market and weather conditions by scrapping websites with Python. This information was stored in text files. Using the Pi connector for UFL, I was able to store that data in the Pi system by simply reading my text files. Once the data is in Pi, I could easily resample, modify, and clean my data set through Excel with Pi Data Link. I then extracted five years of historical data and imported it into Azure Machine Learning to train my model. Through Azure Machine Learning, I optimized the model with the different regression algorithms available. While I am no data scientist, I was able to choose an algorithm and optimize it easily as Azure Machine Learning makes it easy to visualize the performance of the model with selected metrics. There is also a module called Tune Model Hyperparameters that optimizes the parameters of the algorithms automatically. This allowed me to quickly develop an accurate model of the data. Once I was satisfied with my model, I created a web service in a click of a button through Azure Machine Learning. I then wrote a simple Python script which makes API requests to web servers with the inputs to my model, factors such as time, day of the week, and weather effect, and receives the model predictions of future energy demand, which are in turn written to text files and input back into the Pi system using the Pi connector for UFL. To visualize my model predictions, I use Pi Callsight to get a clear understanding of my predictions and other metrics I wish to compare them with. Using the same procedure, I created a model to predict energy price fluctuations. On the chart, the actual price is in orange, while my prediction is in blue. In this case, the model for price prediction performs rather poorly. This is because energy prices vary according to other external factors that were not available publicly or difficult to measure, such as power plant downtime, predicted energy supply, and market factors. This highlights the importance of having access to the right information when designing models and making predictions. Thank you for watching.